Hello everyone, I'm Phantom, and I love Elden Ring. I've played it, streamed it, hundreds of hours, burned into it, every achievement, level 40 characters, cleared every boss, every item, blah blah blah, the list just keeps going on. My most popular video I've ever made is an Elden Ring build guide. There's no shortage of praises that I can and have given towards this masterpiece, but today I wanted to do something that's a little bit different because I want to actually give a proper critique towards the game. Well, I can unabashedly say without hesitation that Elden Ring is the best game I've ever played, there actually are problems with it. And this is in no way me trying to say, well, the game's amazing, but it has these problems. This is me saying the game's amazing, and if these problems were fixed, it would be actually perfect. So this is actually one of two videos that are going to be going over uh, two of the most largest scale problems that Elden Ring has. One of the videos will address the worst gameplay centered problem and one video will address the worst thematic problem with the game. At the end of each video, there will be a card pop up on the screen to the other video. So if you're interested to see what I have to say about the other thing as well, you can check that out. Otherwise you can check out the channel, subscribe to see my uploads directly etc. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about From Software's biggest gameplay problem. You see, Elden Ring is From's most mechanically diverse and dense project that they have ever worked on. They have come a long way from their roots, and that's me putting it very lightly. They have gone from creating beloved cult classics to completely overtaking the mainstream scene. They dominated the entirety of the gaming industry last year, and I can only see this trend continuing with the announced DLC and upcoming Armored Core reboot. But there's one problem that has persisted since the very roots of From Software's video game story, and it is very pervasive and even more noticeable now than it has ever been in the past. I'm honestly shocked that a game that has sold over 20 million copies will still have this problem. From Software has made no steps to improve this. You see, ever since Demon Souls, the Soulsborne franchise has had a very loving chunk of their community completely, and I mean completely dedicated to the PvP experience. And in Dark Souls 1's first DLC, they introduced their first ever iteration of the Soulsborne Coliseum. A PvP game mode where multiple people could spawn in to a sculpted arena specifically just to fight e and, and battle it out. Whether it's for a short time frame or until only one person is left standing, it, it doesn't matter. That's the nicest part about the Colosseums is you get to choose your game mode. But you see, back then, From didn't have the technology or the funds to really pump their servers to the same level of greatness that the rest of the game enjoyed. Really bad latency problems, and every problem that that creates, awful matchmaking, practically no existent lobby system, and the littlest shreds of an existence of any of these things barely worked properly. And this has sadly remained a thorn in From's games ever since, over a decade later. And the arenas still have no proper dedicated system allocated to them whatsoever. In the past, From actually had a good excuse for this, because they didn't balance their game around the PvP experience. It was neither the forefront, nor was it priority number one to any degree. However, Elden Ring marks the moment that that has changed. With Elden Ring, separate scalings for weapon and stats in PvP is finally a reality. From Software has officially made the PvP scene a major feature and a fairly high priority. Yet despite this, the Colosseum still really sucks, at least netcode wise. You get kicked out of queue completely at random for no reason. You won't even have packet loss and you'll just get disconnected. Matchmaking is obnoxious, takes forever, and just doesn't function. I'm not saying this without any actual like evidence either. I tested this, being the exact same rank, level, item upgrade, queuing at the same time in the same zone on the same servers in the same region with a friend just to see if it would work and no. 65 plus percent of the time, we get put in different empty lobbies for absolutely no reason whatsoever. We'll be sitting there waiting for one more person to join the queue and my buddy will queue up and they'll just enter a different lobby. There's no perceivable reason for this. It just refuses to fill the lobbies in any sort of a reasonable fashion. And even if we would manage to get into the same lobbies, if that lobby didn't get filled within 30 seconds, someone would get kicked from it. 
And then if you manage to muscle through all of those problems and actually load in, it is more common for one to two people to never show up than it is for everyone to actually be there. And let's say by some miracle, the lobby gets filled in a reasonable amount of time. You didn't have to requeue. You're against the people that you wanted to go against. Things actually went well and everybody's in there. More times than not, you'll watch at least half of the people in the room T-pose and then suddenly you will get hit by three hits of damage from attacks that never registered because their latency was so poor that the server didn't even register that they pushed a button until the damage had been dealt out. People will stab where you were a minute ago and you will take damage and vice versa. Even with 10 yards of space between where you are and where they're hitting, it is still more common for you to take that damage than not. The best PVPers actually have to learn to play predictively because if they don't dodge an attack long before you put in the input, they'll still take damage. And in today's gaming industry, fighting games specifically have made fantastic dedicated servers with options like rollback that is blowing people's minds. It is so much of a better experience. This isn't the early two 2000s and 2010s anymore. This kind of technology is available and a lot of people are making their games be able to hit the mainstream field hard because of their ability to implement it. So it's surprising to me that From would happily do balance around the fighting aspect of the game but not actually dedicate time or money towards making the net play good enough to warrant balancing the game around it. It's really frustrating. Over 20 million copies. This isn't a cult classic. This is one of the biggest games of the modern industry. So despite the arenas hosting some of the most fun and engaging endless gameplay you can possibly hope for, every other fight is soured by this. You'll go from an amazing fight to feeling like you're fighting someone who's like Jerry chained three Android hotspots together to an underground bunker in order to connect to your match. I'm actually very, very hopeful, like I'm crossing my fingers and I'm coping that we will see some sort of dedicated server with pr like a proper setup in the future, even just for arenas. World PvP is vast and would probably be out of reach for something like this, but properly functioning matchmaking and lobbies doesn't seem like that much to ask for, honestly. And this isn't like a little thing either. This is unironically one of the single biggest reasons that a lot of people don't get into or stay in the PvP scene. Even the PvP community's biggest names will regularly have to struggle with this in their videos and streams, ending their streams and recordings early because it's just not fun. It, it's, it wouldn't even be that hard for them to fix either. They've got the funding. And like I said, this, this has been a problem for From's games for over a decade. It's just, it's, it's not 2011 anymore. There really isn't an excuse for this. It, it feels weird criticizing this game, considering this game has probably given me the most enjoyment I've received from a video game in the past decade. But it is important that we convey the aspects of the game that need improvement to From themselves. There's nothing wrong with wanting the game you love to be better. So, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. How has your experience with the servers been? If you liked the video, leave a like. Check out the other part to my criticizing Elden Ring mini-series that I'm doing. And you guys take care of yourselves. Have a great night. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.